It's a rough thing to go through, folks. All right, we're going to move on to our... Just walk it off there, Tom. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, at over seven feet tall and nearly 500 pounds. Seven feet tall, nearly 500 pounds. I'll cheer you up, buddy. My next guest, literally one of the biggest stars in world wrestling entertainment. This Sunday, he'll be fighting in the Royal Rumble on pay-per-view. Please welcome Big Show. <laughs> be okay. Yeah. Now, well, that was uh, a tough call. Yeah. I don't know if I could have done that. Big Show, when you came out here, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> so bad you've, got to, you've got to get over this, Tom. We have a show to do. <laughs> My God, man, you've got <laughs> yeah, to live yeah. on. <laughs> He'll be all right now. He's, yeah. I, uh, let's get this straight. You're seven feet tall. Yes. You are almost 500 pounds. Well, I, I've lost a little bit of weight. I'm down to about 450 now. Nice. You know, and of course, one trip to McDonald's, I can kill that real quick. <laughs> That's a great ad for yeah, McDonald's. Yeah, I'll take the left yeah, side. Right. Yeah, well, the heck with it. <laughs> the left side. They're not side. paying me a dollar. Yeah. No, anyway. Now, you used, you used to be a, a bouncer for yeah. a while. You were a bouncer. That's how you, you earn money. Well, when you're this big, it's not like I'm going to get a job as like a bikini model. <laughs> Actually, there was just an offer not 10 minutes ago. Yeah, well, that guy won't stop calling me. <laughs> yeah, right. Me uh, when you were a bouncer, was anybody stupid enough to try and pick a fight with you um you know no not really because mostly mean, i would think then, people would just see you and think okay i'm going to behave myself here there was one time i was working the front door in philadelphia and uh it's cold out of course it was in philly winter time this guy comes through the door drunk calling me names and everything else hey he's leaving i'm not worried about it then he said like the trigger word the word that all tall men go into a, a, a spastic rage over, you know, few adjectives, and the word lurch came out. He called you lurch? Yeah. I mean, and at that time, it was one of those things, my eyes rolled in my head, and I mushroom cloud, and he's getting into a cab. Now, he's 25 feet away, mm -hmm. and the only thing I had in my hand was a cookie. I had a real hard chocolate chip cookie. Uh huh. And I pitched a little baseball when I was in high school. So I winged an 85 mile an hour chocolate chip cookie in the back of his head. You're, wait a minute, you're seven feet tall, you're almost 500 pounds, and you, the way that you fight people is you throw cookies at them? <laughs> you got me right, you? Yeah. You're like, I can't believe it, you're like, I'll show you. <laughs> well, it's not like, like an Indian that. <laughs> it's not like I didn't go smash the back of the guy's skull in. So, so you hit him, you hit him. So I hit him with a cookie, and cookie fragments fly over the hood of the cab. <laughs> you know, the guy even stumbles into the cab, turns around, <laughs> gives me the finger gesture where I'm number one. Right? Yeah. Right. Big Bird, live from Sesame Street. Yes, yes. So anyway. I know As what the finger is. he dives into the cab, now... I've I mean, worked in front of live audiences for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I know the finger. All right, go ahead. So as he dives into the cab, I dive in after him. Because he flipped me the bird. Uh -huh. I'm mad. Yeah. Then he didn't realize the cab driver was inside going to the bathroom, so the cab had no driver. <laughs> so he, this guy, this guy gives you the finger, then jumps in the back of a cab and says, let's get out of here, and there's no, no driver. driver. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. So what happens when you get in the cab, you probably don't even have to hit someone. No, I got about that far from his face and then realized that he was urinating on himself and quickly got out of the cab. <laughs> We learned that people communicate fear through their butt. Yeah. <laughs> yes, so exactly. Do I have an electric Yeah. Ball? Yeah. I, Do I, you? I have no idea. <laughs> a, a guy your size. Do you fear anything? Is there anything you fear? Anything I fear? Ah, uh, just my wife. Yeah. No. Uh, I mean, you know, um, when I was single, you know, probably just getting my heart broke. That was about it. Oh, really? Hmm. Well, you know, I was never, you know, America's sexiest man, like, you know. Seven. Seven. <laughs> my mom wow. and my wife think you're number one. Yeah. So. The so, sting uh, won't go away. Yeah, I always, I always knew that, you know, when I, before I got into, you know, sports entertainment and became famous, I always knew that when I was in the bar, and if a hot chick walked up to me in a bar, mm -hmm. I knew right away. 
she either had a jerk for a boyfriend she wanted to get rid of, mm -hmm. or she was moving and had heavy, heavy furniture. <laughs> <laughs> There's no bottom line. That so can't like be this. true. So like, you got a boyfriend that's a jerk? Oh, you're moving. Okay. <laughs> Two dates with sex. We'll take care of it. <laughs> And that's how I had to do it. I had to nice. broker myself out like a movie nice. company. Nice. Yeah. Classy. <laughs> Honey, I'm just kidding. I swear I never did any of that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so dead when I get home. Anyway. Uh, she's not watching. Uh, yeah. <laughs> are you love, uh, do you love uh, married life? Do you like being married? You know, I love being married because, you know, I'm one of those kind of guys that I really overshot the bar. I have like a really, really tall, hot, good-looking wife. She walks through the house, I go like, yeah! You know, I pulled that off, yeah, it's me, I did it, yeah, I do a little dance, so the deal, you know? But so no, you, in fact, feel you created her. Oh, I do, I just, I want to show I the world, this is my wife, right, I right. did this, I am not handsome, but I have a gorgeous wife. Thank right, you. right. So anyway, the only problem with being married is, is like, you have to take into consideration that you now have a partner who enjoys other things on the television. Oh. You know, like me, I'm an ESPN guy. I'm, I like movies. I right, like westerns. Right. I mean, that's my kind of deal. Right. My wife watches that channel. What's that channel? The Ovary Channel. <laughs> There's an Ovary Channel now? It's some kind of lifetime thing or something. Oh, oh. They run 20 straight hours of the Golden Girls. <laughs> There's four 70-year-old-plus women all trying to get laid, and we're watching this? All right. All right. I'm repulsed right. by it. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, my gosh, he's so handsome. I think I just might go out and have sex with him. You're 70. All right. Well, come on. It's not funny. I live in Florida. It's disgusting. <laughs> no, they have, they have lives. They're... <laughs> Don't they turn have... off the channel, old people. <laughs> They've got lives, they do things. Life doesn't have to end when you're 70, or even when you're 90, I say. I guess you've got a high population of older people We have people a lot of old watch. people watching, yeah. yeah. Yes, I won't be back, will I? <laughs> no, you'll be back. <laughs> you'll just be bringing an old date with you to apologize. <laughs> the, uh, the Royal Rumble airs this Sunday yep. on pay-per-view. Yep. And tickles, tick, tickles. Tickles, <laughs> tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> I'm still tickling. Come on, tickle, 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 tickle. Now, you know what? If I was Claudia, I, I thought somebody, a lot of like... things might happen to me. I never thought Big Show would be tickling me at the end of the show. And what are you really gonna do about it? <laughs> All right, Tom, it's your turn to tickle. <laughs> tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickets, tickets. Damn it, tickets for WrestleMania 19 are on sale now. Big Show, everybody, give them a hand. We'll be right back. Sue Johansson, great job. All right, everybody, we're back. You're so big, we can't get you out of my shot. That was amazing. My next guest is the sex educator who hosts 